Hello lovely, in this video we're gonna give you model answers and vocabulary about housework. I'm Maria. And my name is Rory, and we're here to help prepare you for IELTS speaking and have a little bit of fun along the way talking about housework. Are we excited? Well, to talk about it, yeah, but to do it, no, not really. Thank God I own nothing and therefore it's easy for me. Let's talk about housework. Let's talk about housework. Do you think your home is clean and tidy? Well, I'm not particularly house-proud, but I certainly do my best to keep everything in order. Uh, however, there, there are times when I just can't be bothered, uh, although it's not usually when I'm expecting company, so nobody but me knows that. Nobody but me and the entire internet now. To keep your home clean and tidy. So tidy is another synonym for clean, right? So my house is tidy or clean. Tidy and clean are different things. Clean is like the absence of dirt. Whereas tidy is everything is in its place. So clean and tidy, because they're two different things. And Rory told us that he is not house proud. I'm not particularly house proud to be proud of your house. Yeah, house proud is just when you're very focused on how your home looks and making everything nice and tidy and uh, presentable for other people. I am not particularly house proud, but as you can see, I think I'm quite a tidy person. Maybe one day I will give people a guided tour of my home. Maybe one day hell will freeze over. I do my best to keep everything in order. So I do my best, I try really hard, I tidy up, I arrange things in order. So I do my best to keep my house tidy or to keep everything in order. But sometimes I can't be bothered to do something or doing something. I think it's both. I can't be bothered to do this or I can't be bothered doing that. So if you don't want to make an effort and do something, like I can't be bothered off, I can't be bothered to do the shopping, I can't be bothered to do the washing up. Or I can't be bothered doing the shopping, I can't be bothered washing up. You should be bothered washing up. And you should be bothered to do the shopping, otherwise you starve to death. Who usually does the housework in your home? Well, since I live by myself, the responsibility falls to me and me alone, really. Um, although I think I do a pretty good job. Um, it would be great having a housekeeper or a cleaner, though. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to afford one. The responsibility of housework falls on Rory. Oh, actually, you said, like, the responsibility falls to me. Yes. Um, so when the responsibility falls to you, it... it you have it, you have the responsibility. It's difficult to get away from it. So, responsibility for paying bills or for doing your housework or for... What other things are people responsible for? Not dying. What do you call a person who cleans your house? So if Rory is super rich, so when Rory is super rich because of our premium episodes, uh, Rory can, will be able to afford a cleaner or a housekeeper. Oh, it would be great having a housekeeper. Imagine all the things you could get done. What kind of chores or housework do you usually do? Aside from general tidying up, um, I wipe down the surfaces and sweep the floor. Oh, and I hoover the floor too, actually. Um, and oh, I make the bed. I, I feel like that's not really serious housework, but it needs to be done. Um, and I do the dishes as well, after a fashion. So we say we do the housework, or you can call it household chores. It's almost a chore to talk about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, what is a chore? It's something that you need to do to keep your home in reasonably good order. But of course, it's also something that you don't want to do. So you could also say like, oh, talking to this person is such a chore. And it's just like, it's just something that you have to do in order to get something good. So what kind of chores? Rory told us tidy up. So I tidy up my house. I arrange things in order. I wipe down the surfaces. So if I have a surface, I wipe. No, that's fine. There we are. So I, I do the dusting, so there's some dust. So I do the dusting and I wipe down the surfaces. Do you use a wet cloth or you just like, what, you remove the dust? It depends, because some people have a dusting cloth and some people have a wet cloth. It depends on what you're doing. A dusting cloth is for dust and a wet cloth is usually for, like, 
uh, what watermarks where you haven't used a coaster, for example? You sweep the floors. And you hoover the floors. <laughs> hoover the floors. If you're into your American English, you vacuum the floors. But because I'm living in Scotland, I hoover my floor with a hoover. Do the bed or make the bed? Do the bed or make the bed. Doesn't matter. You're still tidying it up. Wait, wait, wait. We say make the bed, not do the bed. I could say do the bed. Do my hair. You can say do the bed. Do the really? bed. Yeah. They're like... You can what? if you want to. It's like, what What other things do you do to your bed? You change the bed, maybe. No, you change the bedding. The bedding, the, the sheets. Yes, because we're using language like bedding. No, you change the bed. Like, you change the the sheets. Yeah, You well, you know, you change a baby. That doesn't mean that you get a new baby. It might if you're, if you're really weird, but yeah. We do the dishes. And also, if you want to wash your clothes uh, and you do the laundry, also you can say, uh, do the dusting, the sh- sh- do the dusting, clean all the windows, uh, clean out your fridge, like clean out the oven. Yeah, usually in the kitchen we have the ov- an oven, a microwave, and also vacuum your furniture. Do you vacuum your furniture? Oh, I hate that. Oh, sometimes, yeah. Oh my god. I used to do that, so vacuum the furniture. Why? Oh, wait, yeah, you mean like the down the back where things collect? Yeah, that's acceptable. I thought you meant like the surface of the furniture. No, the surface, you, you do the dusting, yeah? Come on. What housework do you dislike? I don't really like any of it, frankly, but needs must. Uh, If I had to pick one thing to never do ever again, it would be uh, the vacuuming. Um, It's really time consuming and you can't do anything else while you're doing it because the vacuum cleaner is so loud. So you couldn't even listen to a podcast or something else to take your mind off it. Roy, you said needs must. It's another way of saying things that you need to do, you must do. We need more examples. Well, I I don't want to pay for my shopping, but needs must. So I have to do it, Tim? Well, yeah, I do. I could steal it, I suppose, but, like, you know, I don't want to. And then our favorite strategy, if I had to pick one, I'd say that blah. So if I had, if I had, if I had to pick one chore, I'd say that would be doing the floors. So, like, sweeping the floors or vacuum cleaning the floors. What housework do you like? Cleaning the surfaces is pretty easy. Um, And when you've done it, everything looks nice and clean and new. uh, Until five seconds later, when you need to take a shower or uh, or make a meal. Rory enjoys cleaning the surfaces. So different surfaces, right? I don't enjoy it. (laughs) It involves doing the dusting, maybe... uh, sweeping the floors and also we can say mopping floors so if i mop floors what do i do you get a mop and you wet it and then you mop the floor you make the floor wet in order to clean it more effectively ah it's just a sweep is like whoa, whoa, and mop is like <laughs> mopping is wet sweeping is dry but they have different purposes. Mopping a floor is usually to apply something like bleach or soap to your floor in order to clean it. Sweeping is just clearing things that are dry and can be swept uh, to um, into a dustpan, and that makes it easier to, to to clean the floor. There are different things used for different purposes. I wish I could say more, but I don't really do it that much, so... When everything looks orderly, everything is in order. So I've just tidied up, my house is all tidy, so everything looks orderly. Yeah, so if everything is, well, if everything looks orderly, then it's in the right place. Uh, If you have bookshelves and they're orderly, then they're all neat and level, and maybe they're in a particular order, um, alphabetically perhaps. So orderly just means when things are put in some kind of order. Did you do some house cleaning when you were young? I kept my room reasonably tidy, despite what my mother said at the time. Um, And I did the dishes a few times, although nothing scheduled or regular. I was a very lazy child, to be honest with you, quite pampered and spoiled. 
When I was a child, I kept my room reasonably tidy. So it was like, okay, tidy. So to keep my room reasonably tidy, I used to do the cleaning, I don't know, once a week, for example, when, when I was a child at school, despite what my mom said. So that's a good structure, despite. So despite what my mom or despite what my parents told me, I did this and that. Yeah? Rory, you were pampered. 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 Well, yeah, I, I think I'm um, mature enough to admit that my childhood was probably a little bit more or a little bit less um, labor intensive than most children. So, for example, I didn't have to do the cleaning and tidying. Not often, anyway. I did have to keep my room tidy, but that's about the extent of it. So you lived in a Scottish house, castle, and you had some housekeepers and some, what do you call these people who clean your house? Uh, parents? Servants? My parents kept the house clean. And, you know, really, it's a, it was a, it's a problem of their own making because they did say they would rather do it so that they could have it done right. And what is a child supposed to do to argue with that? So have it done, yeah? Have it done. When you have it done, somebody else does it uh, for you. So you can say that, okay, my parents were responsible for all the cleaning and um, they had it done. I was I was quite pampered. So I was like, hey. hey. People are going to think that I had this like really privileged existence growing up. Oh, yeah. You're like a Sir Rory Duncan. Uh, this is something, something. I would like to point out, you know, not everything was smooth sailing. I just didn't have to do the tidying up. And I feel like I would have traded that for certain other things in my childhood. So, you know, everything, everyone's got trade-offs to make. Yeah, Rory, one more word when we talk about the housework is errands. So if I have a list of errands or do the errands. Oh, like uh, when you're running an errand. So an errand is something that you have to do, but it's not inside your house. It's outside. Um, hence the running part. So it's a job that you have to do or a job that you're given outside of your workplace. You're running an errand or running errands. Yeah, maybe do the shopping or pick up some stuff from the laundry yeah. or something else. So you can do or run errands. So little thing is, yeah, like a short journey to here and there. So run errands. Right, dear listener, in the comments, could you write down what chores do you absolutely hate? Anything that you like doing around your house, okay? Check out our premium episodes. The links are in the description. We have super episodes for you, speaking part two and three. So do check them out. This is our living. It's, um, I know, it pays for nice clothes and uh, nice studios and the technology that we have. So our premium links are in the description. Bye. Bye.